Good morning, everyone. Today, we're back on Elm Creek with the landscaping business. Like usual, guys, on the way to the shop, I'm stopping at the coffee shop here. Actually, I decided to pick up a sandwich to go for lunch and get the truck fueled on up here. But today, guys, we are going to be putting the new stand on mower to work here, which is pretty exciting. Now, yesterday, after I did some shop organization, I actually loaded a few things here in the Duramax, and I dropped it off at our equipment dealer. So that's why I'm driving the work truck, and it's kind of nice to change it up sometimes. Now, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button. It's much appreciated, as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. But, oh, let's see what time it is uh, arriving to the shop right around 7 a.m. I just like to get here early and get the day started here. That means we get to finish a little bit earlier uh, as well, which is always a pretty neat thing here. Let's hop in the Ram, let's get the Cummins fired on up here. Now this is going to be a pretty sweet truck here. Definitely will be perfect for plowing and for moving our skid steers and all our landscaping equipment around town here. And we are also going to be using the single axle trailer here, which is definitely going to be uh, perfect for the zero turns here. That should be perfect. We'll just get it lifted into place. Let's get the ramp lowered on down there. We should be good to go here. Now, we are going to be using the right mower. We just picked this up uh, yesterday, which is pretty exciting here. I picked it up. It's fairly new, and it is a 62-inch uh, mower here, so it's a, a really good size, a little bit bigger uh, than a 52, but a 60-inch plus mower, uh, you could do a lot, a lot of mowing in a pretty short period of time, which is what we need. That should be good right about there. Now, with this being a 10-foot trailer, guys, I am thinking that we could probably fit both zero turns here on it. Although it is a single axle, we should still be able to handle it. And if we do end up getting a hired hand here, maybe selling part-time, that would come in uh, really handy here for us to have an extra mower, even if uh, uh, we weren't going to be needing it. Bring an extra mower if we're going across town. Something like that uh, might be the way to go here as well. But today, we do have a few uh, residential lawns and actually a few commercial, uh, which is definitely a great mixture here now. I've been doing a lot, a lot of advertising, and we are continuing to get calls for more lawns, which is great. As we build up our lawn care route, guys, we do want to get them as close as we can here because right now we're driving across town uh, for one or two yards here. But uh, like I mentioned, uh, these are just kind of the growing uh, uh, pains that we are going to be experiencing. But we are actually coming up on the first one here. Let's get off to the side of the road here. Now, on these uh, kind of small county roads, although it doesn't look like cars would fly by, they tend to go a little bit more than the speed limit. So it's good to be off the road here. But today, Today, guys, we are going to be mowing this property here. I believe it's about a half acre. Should be probably 30, 35 minutes. Like I mentioned, guys, this will be my first time using the right here, which is pretty exciting. I can't wait to see how it does here. The cut qualities on these things are really good. Uh, these are well known uh, for that, but I think for video purposes uh, and uh, for setting up a camera and tripod here, I think we're going to get a start off on the front first. We don't want to go too close uh, to those uh, flowers. I actually really, I uh, really do like those here. But guys, I'm working on getting more and more mods brought over uh, to FS22. To here it is a little bit trickier to convert mods with the textures and things but hey we are getting more and more here which is so cool this right stander uh, does look pretty sweet here now these things could also lay down some really good stripes and i definitely want to kind of see how that's gonna turn out In the mornings, guys, there is quite a bit of morning dew here on the lawn, so we do have to be uh, careful for the first yard or two if we are working on slopes or anything like that here. But I'm a huge fan of these stand-on mowers. It's really exciting that we were able to pick one up here. Luckily, though, uh, we weren't uh, spending too much money since this was a used one here as well, but I really, really do like it quite a lot here. But lawn care in FS22, guys, I have so many cool things here in the works for mods as well, which is a pretty, pretty exciting. Exciting. 
This is a pretty big backyard here, but we should make quick work here on it. This has actually one of the fastest traveling speeds, uh, right around 12 miles per hour here. And I will say, guys, for a lawnmower, uh, for uh, uh, two to three blades underneath here, that does do a pretty good job. And it's just great to be putting the uh, uh, the blades to the grass here, getting the lawns cut, and making that money here. Because these lawn care jobs, every single week, guys, charging uh, money uh, for doing it is a huge, huge part of our business. Business. Our small local equipment dealer here in town, guys, is actually going to be offering some more zero-turn brands. So let me know, guys. Uh, maybe we could start to demo some more here because I do probably want to buy maybe a second one. I'm not sure if it's going to be a walk behind an out front mower deck, a zero-turn, exactly the configuration. But hey, I'm willing to demo quite a few different brands here. And I do think we should be able to see it probably half-day demos. And I think I could squeeze in a pretty cool video on it. So let me know about those uh, down below here as well but the smell of fresh cut grass guys is awesome here definitely a huge fan of it and that's one of the best parts about uh, the lawn care but i have noticed that there are, are actually a few areas here in, at the uh, property where the mower uh, almost seems like we want to kind of bottom out here almost scalp a little bit too much uh, so i am being pretty careful here but overall you guys can see the cut quality has been pretty good we aren't really having any uh mulching problems even uh, uh having to double cut in some areas because the grass is a little bit taller than what I prefer but hey we actually only have another pass or two and this one's done well guys the first yard of the day is just uh, being completed here now I do need to come back here with a weed eater uh, but that I don't really factor that into these videos here because that isn't too much fun and usually I try to do that off camera well guys, we're getting loaded up on the trailer, but our next property is actually only a few uh, seconds down the road here. It's actually this commercial business, which is a way station, and it helps out the farmers who are calculating their grains and things like that here. So this is actually a pretty small one. It's actually only like five, six feet around the driveway and just this intersection, and it should be maybe a quick 15, 20 minute mow. Now I think having a mixture of both commercial and residential lawns does come pretty handy here because usually the commercial uh, you do uh, mo uh, uh, the snow removal for which is also a big part of our business we do get pretty good winters and I definitely want to do a lot more snow removal videos here in farms and those are a lot of cool uh, fun and it are pretty cool here now you guys can see look at this sweatshirt that I have on this is actually a Massey Ferguson sweatshirt I was actually at a I, I believe it was the equipment dealer and uh, I uh, pointed this out and he actually gave me it uh, since I've been buying quite a few things from him and I will say guys really do like it the logo on it everything looks pretty neat and definitely also the color of it just uh, I mean hopefully we get some more uh, modded sweatshirts in the games maybe we could put our landscaping logo on it I think that would also be a pretty cool thing I hope everyone's been having a fantastic week so far here. Drop it down below what you guys have been working on. I am on break now and I've been working on some pretty cool projects here. Definitely also working on some uh, uh, mods for some upcoming videos here, which should be pretty cool. It's always great uh, to get some new mods here in FarmSim as well. But you guys can see we are really making progress on the calendar today. It was actually six lawns here and we'll be a third of the way done after this one here, which is pretty awesome. But later on this week, we actually do have several several uh, landscaping uh, jobs and projects planned hopefully we could get to them there is a little bit of rain in the forecast and that's also why I'm trying to get most of the mo uh, the lawns mode within the next day or so because we could definitely do a little bit of a work while it's raining with dirt gravel things like that but uh, for lawn care we really can't be on the grass when it's raining a uh, slipping and sliding isn't always the best thing 
Well, guys, I just have a little bit more here, but I'm going to stop for water, stop for a quick snack, and then I'm going to uh, get back at this and finish on up here. But I think I'm going to end the uh, camera for today. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.